Welcome to the introduction videos of LutraCAD. This is a video about designing an insole based on a 2D scan. You will find the steps needed for designing an insole from start to finish at the top of the toolbar. As you can see in this video, it only takes seven steps. We start by selecting our first step, choose type. A pop-up message will appear with four options for you to choose from. Full contact for an insole based on a 3D scan, orthopedic insole for pre-made 3D insoles, podiatric insole for an insole based on elements, and complete insoles for previously designed insoles which have been added to your personal library. For this video, we chose podiatric insole. A new screen will appear where you will choose your insole pattern. Press Next when done. You will be provided with a list of elements. Use the left mouse button to select or deselect elements, then press Next you will be asked to appoint a shoe size, after which all elements will be imported into the current file. The 2D scans will not be in the right position right away. With step 2, Rotate 2D, everything will be locked except of the 2D scans. Select the scan using the left mouse button and correct its position. This can be done by drag and drop, arrow keys on the keyboard, or with the arrows on the toolbar on the bottom left. You will not acquire the right position by only moving the 2D scans. You will need to rotate them as well. This can be done by the rotate button on the left. For this, the software needs three points, center point of rotation, reference point, end point. The second option is using the middle button on the bottom left toolbar. By using the left mouse button, the scan will rotate counterclockwise and with the right mouse button clockwise. To accept the scan, use Step 3, Accept 2D. The shoe size can easily be adjusted with a button in the left toolbar. You will be asked for the new size and the software will automatically resize the pattern and elements. With the dark gray buttons on the left toolbar, the view type can be changed from transparent to normal. Use the left mouse button for a normal view and the right mouse button to change the view to transparent. To position the elements, the same steps can be taken as with the 2D scans. For moving them, select an element with the left mouse button and move it to the right position. This can be done by drag and drop, arrow keys on the keyboard, or with the arrows on the toolbar on the bottom left. Same goes with rotation. Use the rotate button on the left. For this, the software needs three points, center point of rotation, reference point, end point. The second option is using the middle button on the bottom left toolbar. With the left mouse button, the scan will rotate counterclockwise, and with the right mouse button, it will move clockwise. The object height of the currently selected element is shown on the right side and can easily be adjusted by changing the number. After the elements are in the right position, we can go to the next step. Step 4. Add elements can be used to add more elements if needed. If not, this step can be skipped. Step 5. Flow elements will flow an element on top of a full contact insole or orthopedic insole and will be shown in another video. If you first design the left insole and you want the right to be exactly the same in terms of elements, height, etc., you can mirror the insole. Use the arrow on the bottom right of the mirror button to show extra options. As our last step before exporting your insole, select Step 6, Trim Elements, to trim the elements back at the edges of the pattern. Thank you for watching this LutraCAD introduction video. Please feel free to contact us if you have any questions regarding LutraCAD.